Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another episode of Real Life Fisherman here. We're gonna do a uh, how-to video. We having some uh, Minn Kota Altera issues. These things can have some issues. Uh, we were having a motor deploying issue. It was standing up, but it wasn't clicking all the way in. Uh, didn't know what was going on. It threw an error code. I'd have to go up to the bow, click it in manually just by pushing on it a little bit, click it in there, and uh, then it would work fine, stow fine, until I deployed it again. It would do the same thing, come up, not go all the way up, and lock in. Um, so I didn't know what was going on. I was thinking about getting rid of it, selling it to a friend. Um, but uh, it was having issues, so I didn't want to, you know, stick him with the motor that could be having issues. And so uh, I thought maybe it was the uh, the shock I took when I took the motor off of the boat, off of my mount. I noticed that the dampener shock was pretty worn out. And so I was thinking, well, maybe that's worn out and it's holding it up and keeping it from clicking all the way in. So we got new shock and uh, it would... I even tried deploying it without the shock on and it would deploy just fine. Click in, no problems. So I was like, well, it must be the shock. So we replaced the shock, brand new one, and it was doing the same old thing again. Deploying, clicking, or it wouldn't click in. It would stand up, but it wouldn't all the way click until you go up and push on it. And then it, you'd have to turn it off, turn it back on and then it'd work again. I was thinking maybe the tilt motor might have been getting weak or wearing out. Um, so I went ahead and, well, I'm gonna order order one of those. That must be what it is. And so ordered one of those. Those are about 150 bucks online. Uh, they do have an updated one. Uh, if you have the older Altera like I do, um, they're having problems. These are too strong, this little arm right here is too strong and so if you hit something while this is deployed and in the water it breaks the the back tab off of the motor itself and then you have to replace the whole motor so uh i went ahead and ordered it but uh i got this thing out here and on the bench and i was like well before i replace that i just want to see if that's truly what's going on and so i started lubing everything up here all the pivot points with some uh Good old, good old water displacement 40, some WD. Started hitting all these points here, working all that, getting it lubed up. I keep lithium uh, grease on here, but it seemed a little bit stiff, so I started working all that in, uh, getting WD in all the pivot points, and uh, wouldn't you know it, tried it stood right up clicks right in every time now so uh hopefully you guys will be finding this video and uh, do yourself a favor save yourself some money hopefully get you some wd-40 or pb blaster squirt it in all these pivot points here especially right here this is where it actually clicks in um, that got really stiff um, when you push on it it should go right back it wasn't so that was the problem right there the whole time. And so now we're gonna put this back on the boat and hopefully get uh, some, more, some more use out of it. I was gonna sell it to him and go with a Garmin Reactor 40, um, but uh, I think now I'm just gonna keep it and uh, get the Reactor 40 in another month or so. I should have the money for that, so. Stay tuned for that video on that install. But uh, yeah, this was all, all it takes. A little bit of love, a little maintenance on it. Make sure you lube all, all, these, all this stuff here. And uh, like I say, it'll... Uh, there you go, click in, there you go. That's what it wasn't doing. It was hanging up right before it clicked into there. So now it works. Smooth as butter.
Good as new. So uh, again, guys, hope you found this video. Save you a little bit of money. Check all your pivot points and your uh, latch in there points and uh, lube everything up and uh, clean it up and uh, check it before you go and spend in some money. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this helped. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.